The Kuala Lumpur War Crimes Tribunal started its hearing against former U.S. President George Bush and former British Prime Minister Tony Blair in the Malaysian federal capital. This is the first time that war crimes charges are heard against the two former heads of states in compliance with due legal process. The Kuala Lumpur War Crimes Commission said both Bush and Blair had participated in the formulation of executive orders and directives to exclude the applicability of all international conventions conventions and laws. This include the Geneva Convention, Convention Against Torture, Declaration of Human Rights and the United Nations Charter in relations to the wars launched by the US and Britain in Afghanistan and Iraq. Until today there has been no judicial pronouncement based on the facts and the evidence pertaining to the invasion of Iraq. This has been based on an investigation since 2009, right? So the complaints were received uh, from the war victims and investigated by the Kuala Lumpur War Crimes Commission. This hearing comes after two years of investigation by the Commission, which heard shocking testimonials from war victims. One complainant told the Commission in 2009 that he was detained for six years in Guantanamo Bay on mistaken identity, tortured and subjected to inhumane treatment. An Iraqi woman prisoner said she was used as a human shield while being transported on a helicopter by being placed near the open doors. It is very important that this tribunal make a sound judgment against Bush and Blair uh, that will indicate their, in this trial, responsibility for waging a Nuremberg crime against peace which is along the lines of, of what the Nazis did in World War II. The U.S. and Britain have repeatedly said the so-called war against terror is targeted at terrorists. The tribunal would adjudicate and evaluate the evidence presented on facts and law and is presided by seven judges from Malaysia and overseas. This war crimes tribunal would decide next week if former U.S. President George Bush and former British Prime Minister Tony Blair are guilty of war crimes charges. And if found guilty, the Kuala Lumpur War Crimes Foundation would try and lobby their respective governments to start an internal investigation or charge them in an international court. Maheshwari Ramakrishnan, Press TV, Kuala Lumpur.